to my YouTube channel, Living in Northern Arizona. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Well, not totally different. I'm going to talk to about the pros and cons of living in Flagstaff, Arizona. But I bought a special guest today, Kristen, Kristen Smith with Academy Mortgage. And the reason Kristen is here today is because she's lived in Flagstaff Born, her whole, life? Born mm -hmm. her whole life in Flagstaff, so she yeah. is the expert on Flagstaff, <laughs> and uh, she can tell me the things she likes, the things she doesn't like, the thing that you might encounter in case you were considering um, relocating here to beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona. So what do you think, Kristen? What do you like about this town? Oh my gosh, there's so many things to like about Flagstaff. So like, I, like she said, I was born and raised here, and I still absolutely love living here. Some of my most favorite things is, is we are so close to the forest. So if you like the outdoors, there's tons of hiking, biking, walking. Um, you know, we're close to Sedona, we're close to Lake Powell, we're close to Las Vegas. We're kind of centrally located, close to Phoenix. So if you want to go to these other areas, you're close to those. Um, another really great thing about Flagstaff is all the sunshine that we have here. So we really don't have those cloudy days that just the sun doesn't come out. I'd say probably we have about 250 to 300 days of sunshine every year. And even when we do get the snow in the winter, by afternoon or the next day when the snowstorm is done, that sunshine is out melting the snow. So I think that's something that's, you know, if you like the sunshine, this is definitely a, a great place to live. Uh, another really good thing is we have a ski resort here. So if you're into skiing, snowboarding, you know, cross-country skiing, any of those things, we have Snowball, and that's only about a 25-30 minute drive from town, and there's some great, great ski, uh, great slopes to go on that, and my, my daughter, she's on the ski team, so they have a ski team up there with, you know, you ride every weekend, and they do racing, and it's a great, great thing to get your kid into. Um, I'm trying what to about think. the schools? You went oh. to school here in the Flagstaff School District, and your daughter's yes. in school here now. What do you what so, do you think about that? You know, from when I was little to now, I mean, when I grew up, the schools that I went to are still here. For example, I went to Knowles Elementary, which is located on the east side of Flagstaff, and it's still a wonderful public school. Very caring teachers, uh, very good curriculums, you know, wonderful. Um, there's Dee Miguel on the west side over here in Flagstaff that is also really good that my daughter went to, another public school. And I just have to say the good thing about Flagstaff is with the public schools and all schools actually, the community here is just really involved and very, love their students. So there's also wonderful charter schools here and private schools. But my daughter right now, she's going to the private school at San Francisco de Assis. It's the Catholic private school. Um, but there's also really good different charters. We have Basis, which is a very popular oh, school here. My it's charter. son went to Basis out too, so I'm familiar with that. Yeah, it's a very highly recommended it's a academic college prep type of a school. Yes. Yes. So that's here as well. And then we have, you know, of course, the community college. If you want to go do the community college before you go to a university, or just completely get your degree at the community college, mm. associates. And then we have Northern Arizona University, which is huge here in town. Yes. So what is it like living in a college town? I really like it most of the time. <laughs> so it does bring in a ton of students, as you would imagine, and families. So it's really good for our economy. It makes our town a lot of, lo lot of fun things to do and active. So the downtown's a lot of fun with you know restaurants and bars and the students out and about. We have different festivals that I can't think is kind of driven a lot from the university. We have the NAU parade that goes on every year. We have all the sporting events and so Flagstaff really gets into that and goes and supports the teams and you know people have their faces painted and it's just a fun thing to do with your family once again. The bad part about having a university in town is just the traffic it can get pretty bad on those weekends when the parents come to visit or, um, you know, just Flagstaff is a small town, but it keeps growing, but the roads have not grown for it. So the traffic can get a little bit long, but nothing to, you know, to complain about too much, especially if you're from a bigger city, 
the traffic here is nothing compared to those long waits in five o'clock traffic. Mm -hmm. I hear the train, so the train yes. is a plus and a minus, right? Yeah, so where I live, the train's literally kind of in the backyard there, um, along with the forest, but it's kind of like white noise for us. Mm. But that's one thing in Flagstaff, when you're driving through downtown, the train goes right through it, and so sometimes you can get stopped for the train, and you know, it'll kind of mess up your commute if you're on your way to get somewhere in a hurry. What about places to work? I know there's W.L. Gore, mm -hmm. the university, the hospitality in industry. Yes. Um, what other major employers do you know of? So there's Purina, that mm -hmm. we make the dog food here. And that employs, I think, roughly over 3,000 employees. Uh, the city of Flagstaff in Coconino oh, okay. County is huge. And then Northern Arizona Healthcare is a very big one as well, employing, I think, 4,000 employees now. It's about a 200 bed hospital and, you know, Trauma One Center. That's right. Yes, and we also have great physicians up there doing cardiac care. So if you're someone that needs attention to, you know, if you feel like you have heart issues or, you know, we do open heart here. So no need, needing to fly to a bigger city or anything like that. Okay, so tell me some of the things that you don't like or just things for people to know about if they're thinking of moving here. Okay, you know, there's really not much to not like about Flagstaff, but I'd say the things that myself and other locals get frustrated with is the traffic that I discussed earlier. Uh, there's lots of NAU uh, apartments going up, the NAU housing. So for locals that used to see Flagstaff with no big buildings, those are kind of coming in and, you know, making it not feel as though Flagstaff was at one point. Um, you know, and the only other thing I could really think of is in the spring, sometimes we get the wind. Oh, that's and right. usually like today, it's a gorgeous day and it's not windy out and it's wonderful in the spring, but we get some of those cold, windy days and yeah. the wind can get kind of annoying. But luckily the wind doesn't last long and then we go into our beautiful summer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the summers here, I just have to say, are absolutely amazing with, you know, a high of 80 most days, some days it might get above that, no humidity, and so the evenings cool down and the mornings cool down, so you might have a hot day, but then the evenings, perfect patio weather, sit mm -hmm. out and enjoy your family and barbecue. So Have you ever gone to the, the Flagstaff Aquaplex for swimming? Oh yeah, that's a fun place that to go. That is fun, mm -hmm. I just, I've never been there except for meetings and I was curious oh. if you knew anything about it. It's, I imagine yeah. kids would just love it. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful and they have a whole bunch of playground that's in the pool to play on so the kids love that. Uh, there's also a couple other, you know, the country club pool. Mm. Oh, yeah. that's right. We have a wonderful country club golf course with a nice restaurant and patio on there and then there's the pool that's attached so you can go swim over there. Okay, probably one big negative I know about Flagstaff is just the housing prices are very high. Probably equivalent to Sedona, yes. um, but and everything in Arizona has been going up like crazy in the past 12 months and I hear people who are supposed to be experts saying the market is going to crash, but again, nobody knows if that is going to happen and I'm not so sure it would happen in Flagstaff, at least not for a while, because there's such a shortage of homes and abundance of people wanting to buy here mm -hmm. that even if four times the inventory came on the market, we still would be a little bit towards the seller's market. So, but it's just one thing to know about. It's sometimes I have people call me and ask, can you find me something in Flagstaff for the 300,000 range? And um, if you want to we'll put a lot of work, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. there are a couple here and there that you will, but um, it's just become very expensive. And even those $300,000 ones are going very fast. Bidding war yes. And people. even the older manufactured homes that you can't get loans on uh -huh. will sometimes, you know, be snapped mm -hmm. up quite a bit. So, oh, yeah. anything else you can think about? Chris and I are going to head out to lunch in a little bit, so yeah. the restaurants are good. Oh yeah, um, I was going to tell you just some of my favorite restaurants. So when you come out to visit or to move here, we have wonderful local restaurants, and it's just become a really great place to go enjoy dining in here. So for, I was just gonna say for a couple, for Mexican food, we have La Fonda. Oh, yeah. That's been here since I was a child. 
it's located in the middle of town and it's locally owned and operated for years and years and it's just a really good food and family friendly and really good margaritas if that's your thing mm. and then we have really good pizza two different places i recommend either new marcos which there's three locations here in town or fratelli's those two are like the best that everyone loves in town is uh marcos is that what was roma is that one point or is that mm -hmm. okay this is different so uh, there's one located downtown on the east and the west side same with fratelli's and then Thai food is Pato Thai is absolutely delicious. My husband wants to go there every week. <laughs> and let's see, what else is there? Um, barbecue. There's Satchmo's Barbecue in the middle of Blackstaff. Mm. That's very good. And then there's a place called Aggie's, or oh, Aggie's, excuse yes. me. And that is in Munns Park. And so Munns Park is roughly 20-ish minutes from out of town. But it's another community with housing and different places and so a lot of people will go out there they'll take their side-by-side -side razors and ride around in the woods and then stop and have barbecue on their wonderful patio yes and is it aggies how do you spell it oh yeah a-g-e-e yeah. i know how to spell it i, I don't know how to pronounce it but they have an outdoor patio that you can bring your dogs and um i think flagstaff is a very dog friendly very. town mm -hmm. um, there's definitely some places that will let you go and eat also inside. So I know, for example, Grand Canyon Brewery, they will let you take your dogs and literally sit at the bar or into the restaurant in there. And so I know there's definitely other places in town that are the same way. So it's really nice to have that dog friendly atmosphere. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all we have for today. Yeah. I want to thank Kristen for appearing in my video. Now, Kristen works at Academy Mortgage. She's one of my preferred lenders. I am going to leave both my information in the description below and Kristen's so you can contact either of us if you have questions about uh, real estate or lending or anything about Northern Arizona. I post videos about living in Northern Arizona every single week so if you like the video please uh, give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and I hope to see you here again next week.